What's up everyone? This is Secluded Dryad and this is Secluded Minecraft. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, reviewing a work in progress called Rotary Craft. It is done by a uh, person named Rika, I think, R-E-I-K-A. Um, it is not updated to 150 or 151, um, is the most uh, updated Minecraft uh, at the time of this video. Um, but like I said, this is work in progress. There are some things that are not fully functional yet. Um, I was considering about making this the first one to my flawed mod of the week, but uh, actually it's not flawed. It's actually doing what the uh, author wants it to do. Um, there are a few things that need to be done, like um, better information, <laughs> period. Uh, there are some stuff on the forums. Uh, check it out in the link when I... Uh, uh, put up my video, just take a look in the description, I'll put up the link for it. Um, the author is doing a really good job on it. Um, like I said, it is a work in progress. Things are going to be changed, I guarantee that. Um, you know, and certain things do need to be fixed. But uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it. Uh, if you look at uh, the first slot in my um, hot bar, you'll actually see a book. What is it? It is the Rotary Craft Handbook. What does this do? Well, this is your in-game handbook. First tab talks all about the power, then it just continues on and 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 so on and so forth. Um, now, the very last page is mis uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, like the lubricant that you need to put on there, the lubricant hose, canola, angular transducer. A screwdriver, which is just kind of like a uh, Red Power's uh, uh, screwdriver, then pipe and fuel line. Now this will be working with fuel. Um, like I said, I don't know much about this because it is a work in progress and there's not much information on it. Uh, but what I do know is when it comes to the power supply, things work on torque and watts and kilowatts and everything like that. But every single machine on the last page just go with um, just a bedrock breaker it gives you a description on the next page it shows exactly what it needs and where the power needs to go which uh, I actually like this feature but um, yeah the handbook is a little much to be constantly carrying around with you so um, I actually have some things set up here uh, let's make it uh, daytime um, and right down right here I got a reservoir hooked up to a pump that is sucking up a ton of water, <laughs> adding up the pipe to a steam uh, steam engine. But um, this engine I have right here, get closer to it, is the ethanol engine. Uh, you basically make ethanol. Um, let me fly up here and I'll show it to you right over here. Right here with the fermenter. You basically put in uh, an ingredient here. Uh, I did a lot of experimenting with this until I actually found it out. Basically, a plant material goes here, yeast goes here, and a water uh, bucket goes here, and it'll come up with sludge. And what is sludge? You put it in a furnace, and you'll end up getting ethanol crystals, which is used in the, like uh, this engine right here. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, you might be asking, what are these things right here? Well, these things right here are the th like the cables for lack of better words um, me personally I do not like the way these look but these are actual true machine um, parts the mod author has uh, put on the forum sites that they actually did research the way some of these machines worked so they are like that um, and I don't know personally if it's going to happen in the future but I would personally really love to see animations I'd love to know that this thing is working by just looking at the uh, shaft and seeing it move. But uh, basically, this thing right here that I have set up is this thing. Cannot pronounce it. You know, I'll kill it. But it's basically a status uh, screen. Tells you how much power it's working, the torque, and the speed. Uh, I actually have one set up over here. I will show it to you here. See? That's a lot better looking. Now, when you first put down an engine, let's put down a, oh, let's see, let's go with a DC electric engine. 
when you put it down this frame will come up this is basically the output okay this is where things like the shaft will go now when you put the shaft down you got two different sides you got the green and the red and it took me a lot of experimentation with it because there is no information yet again about it to find out which one is which hmm is it that one or is it that one hmm yeah in my experience the red goes on the one that has the I mean the green has the power the red is the connector one okay see how it's working here and it is using uh, ethanol I put the crystals in here see right here ethanol crystals boom okay now this thing steam engine this is the water this is the heat the way it works is you need water going into it I screwed up and it went boom <laughs> put a fire or a lava source underneath there's also a thing called um, uh, I'll show it to you here in a sec block this off and as this heats up it will start to generate power okay now like I said it will explode it will boom but uh, let's take a look at the uh, handbook again and take a look what else what else there is okay I can see a lot of problems in this that's why I'm actually showing it it is like I said I cannot stress enough it is a work in progress mod author is still working on it so take it as a work in progress here's a grinder kinda like a macerator but kinda it turns stone to cobblestone cobble to gravel cobalt jeez gravel to sand and so on and so forth. It plays a critical role in the lubrication of gearboxes. It grinds the canola seeds into oil usable as lubricant. Its operational speed goes up as the input speed does. And here's the information for it. Uh, look at this. Floodlight. You gotta love it. It creates a beam of light that illuminates everything in its path until blocked. Okay, look at this. I've been always wanting something like this. I love it. Heat ray. Come on, seriously. You could think of something it could do, right? Yeah. Look at read right here. Extra power to this machine, in addition to increasing range, also increases the range and strength of its uh, ability to melt rock. Yeah. Boring machine. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then pile driver. Isn't that something wrestlers do? Eh, anyway, take a look at it. It digs a deep, narrow shaft. It'll go through any liquid in its path, also go through everything but bedrock. That's what that's for right there. <laughs> but it won't go through layer zero. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, but re multiple impacts are required to break some harder materials, and the vibration will dislodge things like painting, uproot saplings, and disorient players. Beware, being in the path of the mining will end exactly as you may imagine. Owie, talk about a hole in the head. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. I love this thing. Gotta love it. It basically could hold up 64 uh, bottles of potion, and it's dispersed through the entire room the machine is in. I mean, seriously. You know, health potions, uh, you know, th things like that. Light bridge. I can't get this thing to work because look at it. <laughs> That's huge. Here's the pump. Okay, and also, I like it shows what it, uh, the crafting recipe here. Fan. Just moves things around compactor this thing right here will turn coal into diamond talk about real life okay and here's everything here next we got an auto breeder you know what that's for bait box you know what that's for fireworks machine of course Fa uh, you know I can't do that uh, it distills various items and uh, refinery refines them into jet fuel do you see this jet fuel? Okay, uh, I can only guess it's for this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean seriously. There's also a furnace in here somewhere. I'll get to that. But uh, ground penetrating radar. Yeah. Okay. Gotta love it. It will actually show you what's there. Okay. Heater. This is what I was talking about instead of the uh, uh, lava. The reason I'm showing you things in here is because I can't figure out what half of these things are for because there is no information. Then the Obsidian Factory, you know what that is, and Player Detector, good as uh, SSP or SMP, sorry. 
spawn controller. This thing right here, you slap on top of a uh, monster spawner. You can control it or turn it off. Sprinkler system can water your stuff. I in a vacuum. Give you one guess what it does. Wood cutter. I love this thing. Let me go show it to you right now. I have it turned off for now. But uh, yeah. Let me show it to you. Yeah. Right here. But I'm going to put a new one down so I could show you what it is. Wood cutter. Let's grab a gasoline engine and let's grab a stack of ethanol crystals. How about that? Yeah. All right. Where should we put it? I think I'm going to show it to you over here. Okay. You see green power. Red power. Ready for this? You see this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, talk about severe OP. You know, that's that's kind of kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, I could just imagine what that's going to ah, be an attack. Okay, lovely. All right, we're going to go take a look uh, over here. And this right here is the boring machine. All right. I have it hooked up to regular DC power. I know it could probably do a lot more, but here it is. Okay, what's this, you might ask? Basically, you can actually design a pathway as it drills. Okay, it will not drill that, but it has no power right now. Because it's reached, apparently. And would you look at that. Gotta love it. I'll be right. Alright, I'm back, everyone. Um, yeah, that was a pretty bad crash, actually. Uh, it took me a little while to get back up and running. But it is a work in progress. Some of it, I have no clue if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> um, now, if you're a mod author watching this... Um, Please get in contact with me so I can actually uh, uh, let people know. Yeah, my Steam engine blew up. Um, if you want me to do any more uh, um, stuff once it updates, just let me know. Um, yeah, I had water going to this and boom. <sighs> Gotta love it. But uh, that's basically the mod. In not all, not everything I showed you, because like I said, I don't know everything, you know. But here's the basic items that it does: steel ingot, basic panel shaft, so on and so forth. Um, it does show you how to do everything. It will not show you in here. Like, watch. <sighs> I am wrong. Because I tried to do one thing. Uh, it was the DC electrical engine. How to do it, and it didn't show me in any eye. So, I love it when it shows me wrong. <laughs> but, uh, here's how I was shown here. So, you any plant with yeast and water and you get the sludge. And go and cook it. Um, I'm trying to find the furnace for everyone. Uh, let me see if I could find it this way. It looks like a big ass rocket. Paul's jet furnace. Blast furnace, minecart with furnace, furnace, and let's see if we can actually get this one going. Now watch, I'm putting, not even putting the right thing down. <laughs> yeah, complicated, just slightly. Let's see if I can find it in here. Here we go. It is uh, the Pulse Jet is a powerful furnace? While it will not smelt the ordinary recipes, it will melt obsidian into glass as immune to TNT, melt scrap metal and tools into ingots and make steel more efficient uh, uh, than a standard furnace and will get very hot and will ignite nearby flammable materials. Also known as do not put this in your house. If your house is made of wood, it will go boom. Not smart. Seriously, not smart. But uh, like I said, this is uh, this is basic uh, the basic of the mod. There's a ton more stuff. I guarantee that is to come. Uh, this looks extremely promising. Uh, I will keep everyone updated as I get updated myself on this mod. 
um, because as you all know I am into mods I don't mod myself I just help show people what is ma uh, what you can do with mods did this seriously plant after it cut it down did it plant a sapling did it plant a sap oh man if it planted a sapling that is so cool well, it cuts down the center of the tree. Anyway, the foliage is so dense that the machine automatically it only cuts down the center of the tree to avoid biolime. Okay. Okay. Okay, it planted, but I... Cool. Whatever. <laughs> and look how much stuff I got from that. I mean, that's, that's just insane. But, um, yeah, like I said, uh, if you want to see more uh, work-in-progress maps uh, or mods... Send me uh, send me a mail on the uh, uh, mod you want shown, and I will do my best to show it as soon as I learn it. Um, if you like things like this and uh, want to see also want to see more of them, but don't have a mod in um, in mind, just give me a like or comment uh, in the description. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, everyone. Everyone, hit it right now. Come on, hit it, hit it. I know you're not doing it. Hit it. Thank you. All right, I'm out.